Hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I appreciate you guys. You know, we were um, about 420 miles away uh, this morning, and I literally drove straight through because I wanted to get home to this. I pre-ordered my Samson Ultra S24 um, a week ago, got the $500 off by uh, sending in one of my old phones, and it came yesterday. It came yesterday, and I was like, I'm on vacation. I want to get my phone. And here it is right here. And I'm going to open up the packaging here and take a look. This is my first look and first time ever getting a phone when it first comes out. Now, I've been looking because I've, I've done a couple of videos talking about the discount that I was getting and stuff. And, you know, either you're an Apple person or you're a Google person. And I am truly a Google person. There's the 25-watt adapter. Hmm. Um, they said that there's actually a 40 watt one adapter. I think it's 40 or 45 watt um, that they actually sold me at the Samsung store because they said if you use a adapter that is not as powerful, it'll drain the phone as opposed to charging the phone. So I don't know, but I know I did buy another adapter. So this is the C adapter and it's quite heavy. Hmm. And here it is. Oh, look at the black case. Oh my goodness. Now, some people have said that, you know, they, they have the same phone that I have, the S22, but they're a little worried about the AI feature um, that's on here. So, that is a concern for some people, but maybe you upgrade to the 23. And if we can get this open, definitely has not been opened by anybody else. I'm like literally shaking here. There we go. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, wow. Okay. So here we have the protective cover that's black. Don't know if it's got a charge in it to start out with. Oh, oh, it's starting up. Okay. The very first time my phone that will be launching a thousand or more videos is starting up. Let's look at it for the first time. Welcome. Okay. I'm going to actually try and get this thing started, and I'll be back with you guys. Peace. Okay, so I've actually connected, took the SIM card out of this phone, my S24 that I'm actually recording with right now, and I've put it into this phone. I hope I didn't mess up. Now, I want you to understand, I am 58 years old. I am technology challenged, and so I'm trying to do this. And so I've gone through the whole steps of starting this up, and already I've gotten the questions where it's asking me for voice recognition and stuff. Um, and a lot of my apps and stuff have already transferred over, and I think it's going to ask me if I signed in. And so originally it said that it was going to take uh, up to an hour and 56 minutes. I have a lot of videos and pictures and things. I probably have pictures from three or four phones in here. I think I've got somewhere like 15,000 uh, pictures and there's probably like 150 videos that's on this phone, which is going to be great because I think this one's 126 gigs. This one is... 516 so it'll be able to take all of these and plenty and plenty more where I've actually gotten to the point where I take so many videos uh, using like my Klein master and editing it it saves it as uh, on Klein master and it also saves it into the video gallery so it's doubling up and sometimes I'm doing uh, videos where I'm time lapsing like an hour and even though you've kind of collapsed that into 10 minutes sometimes some of those videos are you know 10 15 uh, gigs alone because there's so much data in there. So transferring it, I've been working on transferring all that stuff. It originally said an hour and 56 minutes. It's been 14 minutes and six seconds and I'm actually connected by my USB-C cable to the other phone. And it is actually 
uploading this pretty quick because we're at 15 that quickly. So, so far, so good. Um, I like the feel of it. I like the edges that they're not the round edges and stuff on here. I did purchase from T-Mobile and got the discount. Um, the screen protector as well as the armor protector because I do construction work and I want to protect it But you know, I've been pretty good with my phones the fact that I still have this phone Which I had for two years the nine that I had as well as the seven the seven is actually what I'm sending back So I will be using this other phone right here as a, a camera for my studio um, additional camera for doing uh, additional photography and stuff uh, with this um, between the two of them. So all of this is going to be great for me and what I do and let's see About the 17% of the data is already transferred. That's pretty good. All right. I'll get back to you when it's done Wow That's all I can say right now is wow. Okay, so here I have it. I don't have the case on it. I do have one of the uh, armor protector cases. I'm going to put that on, but I don't want to do this for uh, my, my video here. But <clears throat> it was actually pretty easy. Okay, again, I am not a computer guy. I do a lot of YouTube and stuff, but usually I have problems with redoing the phones. It actually was really super easy. You have actually the SIM card button that's hole right there in the little piece you slide that in there the piece comes out I took the SIM card actually out of my 22 uh, put that in here a um, couple of touches of the button and basically I ended up using the cable the C to C cable between this phone and that one and it took about an hour and 15 minutes to upload about 186 uh, gigabytes of all my apps uh, my pictures I think there were 620 some videos in there some of those 15 20 minutes long. I do a lot of stuff on there, but I still have over 300 gigs 300 gigs left on this thing. It's already blowing my mind because I've got pictures from Six or seven years ago from multiple phones. There's over 16,000 pictures 16,000 pictures and over 630 videos on here and it's barely scratching the surface so what I did was, and I'm, I'm still a little technology challenge, I can put side by side pictures. And I just went outside because one of the things that I really wanted on this is the night photography. And I took a picture, and that's actually the cover picture on this thing. It blew my mind. The difference of this phone, which I really liked at the night, versus this one. It is unbelievable. It looks like I would think it was infrared, but in color. It is freaking insane. Now, the good thing for me is everything, my swiping is all the same. Look at this. I don't know how well. This is dark outside, and it's not, looking at a picture on here is not good, but it is clear as a bell. So for me, all of the settings and stuff on here are pretty much the same because I hate change. I actually love that I don't have the round edge on here. I'm going to put my screen protector on here and my armor case and stuff so that way it'll be well protected. It's got a little bit more weight it feels like to me. I like actually, it's like for a hammer, I don't like small hammers. I like something that's got some substantial weight to it and it feels good actually in my hand. It's slightly bigger than the other phone here. The corners are really corners as opposed to being round, but I love it right now. I am absolutely positively loving it. And for me, I'm going to be going to like the draft um, again this year. It'll be in Detroit. What I did last year, believe it or not, was I used this phone right here. I ended up plugging in through the C port, a Zoom pad microphone system, and we actually live streamed the draft for multiple hours. Now, one thing I did have to do was I had to get a dual C piece to go in here. One was a charger and one was actually the sound and data that could go back and forth on it to make sure that it would stay up because it was literally broadcasting for about six hours. The good thing on this is the battery life is supposed to be even that much longer. So what I'm gonna do is now that I've got this thing, I'm gonna try it out for a few days and see if I still love it as much as I love this phone. I'm Mark Holmes and my God, the cameras, it's amazing. It is amazing. Definitely check it out. I still don't know about the AI. Still don't know about the AI. Let's just hope it doesn't turn into a Terminator and say, I'll be back.